It's another tournament day. Well, tomorrow is. Actually, I'm driving up to where I'm gonna have the tournament at tomorrow. This isn't part of my normal like uh, fishing tournament place that I usually fish with, the group that I fish with. This is kind of, this is another one, which we kind of fish together in some of them. And I know some of these guys, so I'm actually driving up now. I'm gonna meet up with Eric and we're gonna float a section of the Holston River uh, for this tournament. It's a five fish limit um and it should be pretty fun game time eric how much sleep did you get last night did you even sleep i don't even think you probably didn't go to bed did you i did i got like four hours maybe well uh there was a bunch of uh rednecks in the walmart parking lot making noise late so i didn't get too much sleep but we're here at the holston river man it's gonna be an awesome day out here um hopefully some fish are gonna get caught hopefully by me i don't know but we'll find out Game time, boys. Oh, I just lost a fish already. I don't know if it was big or not. Like three minutes in. Right, this is the ramp. I casted right at the ramp where we came through. It's only 10 inches. Hey, there we go. There's this giant carp going crazy all over the place over here. Okay, keeper number one, 13 and a quarter. Oh, I can tell this is gonna be an interesting day. Caught a couple largemouth in the area that we're gonna float to. It's supposed to have a lot of largemouth. We're supposed to be smallmouth through this area. There's carp and stuff going crazy, exploding everywhere. Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a good day. That's the first keeper. I got a half five over twelve inches, and that's a small one, you know. But I need at least five, and then hopefully we'll get a couple of nice ones today. This is like these big old carp, just making all kinds of ruckus. Goodness, keep thinking it's fish hitting or something. But they're just oh, they just went right underneath me. They're all over the place out here. Here we go. Oh. Wow, look at this smaller. He is short, but he is stocky. Got at the back of the shoals, dripping the Helgramite. The carp just went by. Look at that fat little thing. Man. That's where I really need an anchor. All right, the fish probably are out here in the middle. I wonder if I can get out the stand right here. Little guy. Maybe 12. Well, and he's gone. He may have been 12 inches, but he's gone. All 
All right, I was definitely worth stopping on these shoals and staying in here, kind of learning something. There's definitely fish in here. A little hard to fish, but uh, I think we're gonna keep on moving downstream for right now. I said, I definitely need an anchor for this type of fishing. When you're fishing in places like this. There's one. Good one. At least the keeper. Twelve and three quarters. Oh yeah. Yep. Drifting it through the current. That's a little bigger. Not giant. I got a little better. Trying to sit on these shoals and uh sitting in that one spot. Huh? I'm like in a little eddy, like just kind of. Hopefully, I'll stay here for a minute so I can get a, get him on the board, get a picture. Oh my goodness! Spent half the day trying to get these fish to steal. <sighs> He's flopped out of the thing four times. Okay, I think I got a picture of him. Get him back in there. He, wait, put him back down through the chute. That fish was a pain to hang on to. Right where I'm trying to fish these shoals. Yeah. Stocky thing. These guys are chunky. All right, this uh, this pattern is definitely working. Those fish are in those shoals. That's a beefy guy, short and short and stocky. Let's see if I can get a picture without losing too much ground here. Well, he's gone. That's all right. He was about another 13 incher. I've got to have, I got to have my uh, drive up because I'm in these shoals. Then when the fish bounces off, it bounces through the hole. This is, uh, this has been a struggle because the fish are biting and I, I know where they're at, getting some hit, getting bites. But just being able to handle them because I'm trying to get that picture. If I was just throwing them back in, it'd be boom, nothing. But I'm trying to get that picture on the board. They have to close their mouth. They have to lay still. I gotta get my identifier on there. So it, it takes a, people that do this a lot. You guys in the tournament, I know it takes uh, it takes work just to get that fish, um, like a picture of him and everything. Cause especially when they won't sit still. But we've already I've already caught some fish today. It's been pretty fun. They're definitely in the shoals. We're gonna float further down the river here in just a little bit. I'd like to. I'd love to catch a limit up here. At least get these little ones. Because as it goes down, it gets slower. I'm not sure what to expect down further. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hopefully it's hooked good. Oh yeah, that made up for that one I just had to fall through the hole. It's a nice fish right here. They're here. I gotta stay here and fish them. All these Holston River fish have shoulders on them. And they won't lay still. Another 13 and something. 
but at least we're getting a few. Yep, there's a good one. Oh no, just a little one. Little guy. Well, we'll see if he's long enough. I think I need one more on the board. No, I think I already have, I got four uploaded right now. No, he's too short. But um, I have one that I could upload, but the mouth is open. I didn't get a good picture of him. So, but I'm, I'm really gonna need to um, upsize all those ones I pretty much catch if I wanna, or at least a few of them, if I wanna be able to compete. There's like, I think only 15, ang 15 kayakers in this tournament and everybody's fishing either some section of the Holston River. So, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of big fish in here. I'm just happy to be catching fish. Like, I've already had a good day, just some numbers wise. There you go, keeper. Dude, I'm just drifting as we float and looking for any kind of shoals or rapids. These aren't shoal bass, but they do the same thing. They'll sit in these shoals just looking for something to drift over top of them. And the Helger Mite's perfect lure. Look how stocky they are. They're so short and stocky. These are some healthy fish in here. Holy cow, what did I just hook? I'm snagged. My line's hooked up. Do I still have it? I got a knot in my line and I have a fish. <sighs> so I got a knot in the end of my line. I think I have a fish. I think it's a catfish. <sighs> wow, it's strong. I'm hand line this fish in. I think it's a catfish. I thought I saw it. If it's a bass, I don't know. Don't go under there. Oh, and it came off. He just broke my line. Hopefully that wasn't a bass. I think it was a catfish. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a mess today. I've had so many little things going on. I, I set the hook on that fish and it like, the braid sometimes wraps around the end of the pole. So I have a fish on, then a pole, then a knot in my line. We'll get back to it, folks. Dude, I caught a large mouth and there was a small mouth right with it. I caught this large mouth and then a small mouth came out and like bit at it. It wasn't a real big one. That guy's 11 incher, not long enough. Still a little large mouth. That might be a keeper though. <sighs> Another 11 incher. This is a really cool looking shovel here. This is a lot shallower, like a longer little stretch. Try to find a little deep hole to fish below it. Hopefully. Oh, perfect. Now, if I can just catch a fish while I'm sitting here, it'd be perfect. There's a solid one out of the current. All right, there's definitely my keeper number five. I stopped at just 
shoal, throwing a spinner bait. All the smallies have been about this size today. Probably gonna need to get a, you know, a couple 20s. I don't know. Hopefully to compete, but you just never know. But let me see if I can get a picture of this one. At least have my fifth on the board. And then we'll try upsizing. But I'm just gonna do the same kind of fishing I've been doing. So I got, my, I got at least five fish on there. Definitely need some bigger. I uh, would love to get 15 inches and up, but we've got a lot more today uh, to fish. It's been an awesome day though. I would love to have this day, any day, this many fish already. Same size, 13 inches. Oh, I got it. Dude, I'm just throwing out in the middle. Letting that hugger might sink, do whatever it does. Getting all kinds of fish. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so focused on the tournament. I can't believe how many fish I've already caught today. This was this is what I needed. I needed a tournament where I actually catch fish. Being observant and watching my lure has been able to help me catch so many different fish over the time of fishing. The oh, hook came out. I threw a lure in there. I saw him swipe at it. I saw like two different fish, so I followed it up with a Helgram bite. Like let it sink for a little bit, let it sink. Like kind of pulled it out and finally he came and hit it. Like I knew they were there. They were just being really hard to get to bite. Almost 14. So I'm gonna get a picture of him and then we're just gonna have to start getting 14s and up. All right, I'm gonna upload him. That's my number five. So we need some, we need some bigger than 14s is what we need. Well, Dirk just got him a good one. Me and Eric are floating, us, me, Eric and Dirk, kind of floating together. He just hooked into a good one over there. Well, I'll try on the spinnerbait for a little bit. It still gets small fish. I know there's some bigger fish in here. Like there's, there's some big fish. It's gotta be through here. But it's been crazy how many small ones are hitting. Something's gotta get those bigger ones. I need a couple of them. I'm starting to get greedy now. I've caught so many fish and it's still early in the day. I'm getting kind of greedy and need to want those big ones. <laughs> mm, top water maybe a thing dude i just switched to it 
this water is getting slower and I know there's all kinds of fish through here so I'm like you know what let's try the chapo that's a new color that's a bluegill first one first fish I think I've caught on that color it's getting the same size ones I gotta get some bigger ones that's a good sign Maybe an upgrade. Nope, just barely over 12. Nice. <laughs> Dude, these guys are just demolishing it. If I ever get a like an 18, 19 inch one, he's just gonna take off. Okay, a little update. I'm about to take a break for a second, eat uh, some food, because I'm going to be dead here pretty soon if I don't. It's 12 o'clock. Um, we're fishing until 2.30. Oh, Dark sucked up with another good one. He definitely got a, he knows how to fish this river, does this section. He got a couple good ones, but that anybody can win this one. I mean, I've, I've caught tons of fish today. I just haven't gotten any size. But at any time down through here, we, I can get a, you know, a big one. So I'm going to eat. That way I can uh, re a couple lures and get back at it. Solid one. Best one today. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Way to get back into it. Okay, well, that is a pretty Tennessee Smalley 13 and a half. Back in it goes. guy we're fishing with was just you know he's you know helping us out telling us where he's caught fish at he's come through here a bunch and um the fish had definitely been out in the center and there's an area where it kind of got shoals and it drops off and he caught a couple and i'm like you know what? i'm gonna go through there and i had this rigged up for the other day it's a four inch yum scottsboro swim bait with a little underspin and i'm like i'll just troll that through there about 10 casts in thumped it so I'm always learning. I'm, I'm using things I have and always learning and watching others. Uh, every river is a different situation too. So. That's a big fish. That's good. That's a fat guy. Boom. Just went back up. Did the same thing. Trolled right back down through there. Got a bigger one. On the swim bait. Look, off, look at the size of that thing. This thing's got a gut and a half on him. I wish I was, uh, I wish it was a healthiest fish award. Cause I've been getting some fatties today. That is the, <laughs> I can't believe the size of that guy. Well, he's just under 14. But man, this is definitely their feeding zone.
There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for today. Time to move on. Some largemouth. Give me some big ends. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what I needed right there. Get me back in the game. It's time to go back to the weightless yum dinger. We're gonna fish another slow section. So we, there's like, I think we've gone through the last shoals that we're gonna go through. Caught a bunch of fish back there. I've caught so many fish today, tons of fish. Uh, nothing over 14 inches, I don't think, till now. I think, oh yeah, that's a pale looking one, but he's at least over 14, I'm pretty sure. All right, good body on it. He's got a messed up tail. He's got a, something bitten out of it. 16 and a quarter. Okay, we got a good picture of it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and upload that and uh, get back to flipping that yum dinger. Thinking of letting it drift in here. I think we can. I think we can still get some good fish. Hopefully, I'll replace all those small ones. That would be the ideal thing, since it's uh, one o'clock. Only got an hour and a half left. So I'm really gotta. We gotta get moving. Yeah, he's jumping all over the place. Over 12 inches. I've caught a lot between 11 and 14. So many. This guy here is right at 12. That's the one I needed right there. Oh. That's what I've been waiting on. Oh, this is what we this is what we've been waiting on. This is really gonna help us out. There's an hour left in the tournament. I got that good one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh my. He's 18 and a half. I thought he's going to be bigger, but that's a nice bass. I'll take that guy all day. All right, it is yum dinger time. I do believe. We still got a little ways to go, don't we? Yeah, about three miles. We only got about an hour left. I know, that's the last thing. We're going to start really getting into it. Oh! Doesn't get much more refreshing than this. We had a long way to paddle back. Or to paddle down to where we were taking out. It kind of took a lot longer than we should have. And it is taking forever, but I almost to the bend there. I didn't catch any more fish after that big largemouth because really it didn't get to fish anymore after... But man, this rain is, uh, feels pretty good. So I'll wrap this video up because I got something that I'm gonna order before I end this video. So first off, it felt really good having a day where I was catching well over 20 fish. Just great time. And it's also had that same, had that feeling that if I just had another hour 
to fish, I could have just really upgraded and caught a couple more largemouth. Never fished there, that section before, so the, the fish were so like stocky and like jacked as far as like strong. I, that was, was the craziest thing. I kept expecting these skinnier river fish and these every one, the largemouth and the smallmouth were just like solid. I would hook into a 13 inch smallmouth and I could, I would have swore it was like a 15 or 16 incher, get it up and it's just like really beefy. But like I said, all in all, a great day. I ended up getting six out of 15 and uh, Dirk that was fishing with us, he actually got fifth. He was uh, a couple inches ahead of me and um, we both were catching, you know, a bunch of fish all day and Eric also, we were all catching a bunch of fish. And so it was, it was definitely an enjoyable time being out there, hooking in stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to get into more kayak tournament fishing, I think, um, especially this week. So I'm trying to get this day, out, this video out here Monday um, from about a, what I guess I was about two weeks ago. I did this tournament, but I ended up doing, I had like three kayak tournaments in um, eight days, sort of. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that uh, I had one that's coming up. I'm going to try to have it ready for Friday that I did really good. I'm really excited about, and it's kind of really pushing me to go in more in on these kayak things. And uh, I, I've already ordered an anchor wizard and an anchor for it. So that's like, I've already ordered that. Um, I haven't got it in yet. So there's probably several videos coming up where I haven't got it to use it. And I'm probably going to get another kayak or two or five. I don't know. I plan to do lots of more. I love kayaking. Everything that's involved with it, kayaking, different types of waters. Um, some are made for bigger lakes, some are made for skinnier waters, some are made for maneuverability. There's so, there's so much more into kayaking and that's what uh, I'm enjoying it. And I probably will do a lot of that um, this summer and um, have a lot of goals to do that. Big thanks to uh, Eric and uh, Dirk for uh, taking me with them on that float. So I didn't really know where to go and I wanted to fish on that tournament uh, and do a tournament on that uh, part of the Holston, just a new section. So that kind of took me and kind of showed me, you know, some of the things, what we were going through. And um, it was it was really interesting. I've learned a lot from it. And every river or float or every section is different and you're learning where fish are. I caught most of my fish on the Helgram, on Nico Helgramite and uh, Yum Dinger. I caught fish on like four or five other lures, but mainly those two lures were the ones that were working. And I just, uh, I think I could have got some of those bigger large mouth as we got to like some slower water, but didn't have time to prove my theory. I know it's a long video and I appreciate all support and appreciate you watching and uh, thanks so much.